Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video, man. And in this one, we're going to be going over this huge dump. Like, dang, bro. Listen, man. Like, the developers, like, shout out, shout out to the developers and the people on the staff team who've been hitting me up. I, I definitely appreciate y'all reaching out. But listen, when you got to warn me when stuff like unlocks is coming up and stuff like that, where. Where, like, the coin is about to get dumped, man. Because I literally just blew a bag and got more on me. And, and then it's it's even it's at an even bigger discount. I mean, I knew this was coming, too. I even said it was probably going to drop some more. And it did. And I just did not know this big news was going to come to the point where, okay, we got some great prices right here. I literally just bought, like, almost a million on me. Like, I literally just bought almost a million. I'm tight right now, man. I'm tight. <laughs> so, um, but, but, but before we jump into it, we're going to go over this. Before we jump into it, be sure to drop that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on notifications so you stay updated with everything going on. Um, and, yeah, let's just, let's just jump into this. So, as you can see, the price is going down. It is absolutely tanking. It is getting destroyed. And, um, as you can see, we got some big, some big dumps taking place right here. Honestly, this looks like... It's a lot of volume, so either a lot of people are falling for this, or it's whales. This could be some whale action right here, some whale selling. Um, <clears throat> and the thing is, that the problem that I have with certain types of investors is that they're not real investors. It's, it's people who get into projects, and they're they're fearful of every single thing. They're, they're, it's like they, they, they just put their money somewhere just to have their money somewhere and try to come up off of it. They don't take the time to actually understand and educate themselves on what it is they're invested in. So they have weak hands. They don't, they're, they're not willing to hold it because they don't really understand what it is that they're holding. They don't understand the value and why it will be valuable and how every single aspect of this thing works. And that's what I've noticed in the community. Like usually when people leave criticisms and say crazy stuff to me on this channel, it tells you like which which part are they missing? Oh, they don't know how buybacks work. They don't know that that exists. Oh, they don't they don't understand what licenses that have been hinted at and leaked at. They don't understand that when when David Yu runs around and 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 uses Marvel in his advertisements and stuff like that. They don't understand that that's illegal. You can't do that legally unless you are under some type of, have some type of deal with Marvel. It's like. They don't understand like the full picture and there's always information that they're, and pieces that they're not putting together because they don't really dive deep into it. And I think that when you're um, not fully informed and uneducated on topics and you invest in it, you're going to you're going to be very, very much more likely to dump it because you don't really know what's going on. You don't really understand what's happening, why it's dumping. Um, and yeah, like this is one of those things where People are thinking that the developers are oh they're they're getting over on us they're they're really going to they're going to take our money and run they're they're just going to dump the coin so let me get this straight they took the time to sign up over one hundred licensors they they started this two years ago like this is I'm gonna be honest with you this is the shittiest pump and dump job I have ever seen like why lock yourself in a two year contract to where you can't even touch this is a terrible excuse for a pump and dump. Like, why not do something like safe, safe, like what's it called, safe moon? Like, why not just do something like that where you come in, you pop up out of nowhere, and you just get to booming? Like, why not do something like Charizard token? You pop up out of nowhere, boom, it explodes. And like, what? Like, why are you taking the time flying to these conferences? Like, it it, it don't even add up. Like, the stuff people believe is absolutely delusional. It makes no sense whatsoever. They're sitting here literally flying to events for years. They're sitting here making the best NFTs, having a whole little experience. Look at their augmented reality, that whole little augmented reality, um, taking pictures with Batman and stuff like that, features like that. Why would they put features like that into a pump and dump? You don't see Safe Moon with something like that. <laughs> you don't see Charizard talking with nothing like that. Like, this, this is stuff that actually takes a bunch of money to develop. These licenses that they have, it takes a bunch of money being put in that to, for that to even happen. And also, for these licensors to even come on board, it takes a certain amount of credibility and respect as a businessman for, the, for these deals to even take place to begin with. You think Al Khan, the man who, generates a, who generated a billion dollars for 25 years in a row, you think that guy really is sitting here needing to scam or do something like... Come on, it, it does not add up. Why would Al Khan even join this? Why would he be one of the leading guys on this team if that, that was the whole goal here? Like, it makes absolutely no sense because 
honestly, if it was, and honestly, he could have just kept doing what he was doing, just kept licensing, and he would probably still make more money than he's going to make with this. Like, if this does not continue to go on and become super profitable, because it's not going to be super profitable. Even right now, it's not going to be insanely profitable. Even right now, like, if it continues to go up, that's where it gets to the point where, okay, this is insane money. Like, it's, like, it's insane money, but it's not, it's not there right now. This is just not there right now. So, look at it. Look at the price going down, man. It's in, it's crazy. It's crazy how people can be convinced of of this this ridiculous stuff. Like, why invest in Ecomi if you don't believe in the team that's running it? Like, people sit here and say so much, oh, this team is running around being unprofessional. Are you stupid? This this app went from 5,000 users. It was supposed to only have 5,000 users. It went up to 250,000. They're running around, they're leaks and stuff. YouTube is like me creating content. All the other YouTubers like spreading the word, like all of our content. This is what's blowing up the community and this is what's blowing up the token. This is what's bringing awareness and spreading this. And it's only possible because of the stuff that they're doing. Not only having a quality quality content focusing on making a quality experience for all users, but also playing with the community, leaving leaks, leaving hints, leaving breadcrumbs for people to chase down and, and hunt down and really... <clears throat> You know, really, really being immersed in the community, like really being here, like feet on the ground with all of us. They are literally here. They're here with us. So I, I just don't get it. And it looks like a, a big dump is happening right now. Damn. A big dump is like, look at this. Man, I, like, I am really upset right now. Like. I, I I'm I'm about to have to go and buy some more. Like like real talk, I'm about to have to go and buy some more. These prices is actually making me mad. As I'm looking at these prices, it's making me mad. <laughs> it's really making me mad. Like come on, the bit, it's huge of a discount, bro. I wish, man. But anyway, like yeah, the it really it really does not add up. Like they they did a lot. Like this is the worst scam I have ever seen. Like what like. What are they doing? Playing the loan, the loan game, NFT con? Because you got to think about this. <clears throat> if you're going to do a scam, if you're gonna if you're gonna scam a community, why the hell would you scam a community in the NFT market and start plotting this scam two years ago? Nobody knew what an NFT was. Like, there's no money in NFTs. You don't know for sure that there will ever be any money in NFTs. Like, why start a scam two years ago? And then get the guy who founded Pokemon, like a guy with a reputation like that, bring him on board. Like, I, I don't think people actually think through these rumors before they just decide to believe them. I don't think people are, I don't think people actually understand, understand what it would mean for, for this to be a scam, what it would mean, what it would re require, what it would take. But I guess, like, it's true that common sense ain't too common, but... On a, on a great note, for honestly, everybody who, who understands what's going on here, we have a huge discount right now. This is great. And I want you all to also take a look at how far this coin has came, where, where we have come from. Like, take a look at where we came from. So we came from, like, it's been here. And look at where it's at right now. So for people saying that this token is going to take forever to blow up and stuff like that, forever to get anywhere, look at how quick, it, it, ain't, it ain't been too long. Look at how high we were, look at how high we can fall. Like, this token moves fast. It moves fast, and it's not on any exchanges right now. It's not on any good exchanges. Like, this, this, t bruh, I'm loving, I'm loving the dump right now, and be honest with y'all, I'm loving the dump right now. <clears throat> I'm definitely loving the dump. It's sad that a lot of people are missing out and stuff, but, I mean, ultimately, I don't, I don't really care, to be honest with you. I don't really care. It's um, it's it's other people missing out. It's their losses. But yeah, I don't understand why people, why people even invest in something like this if you're not going to, if you're not going to take the time to educate yourself on how stupid it would be to for for this. Like, you have a bunch of other industries that could have one hundred percent been like. Look at Charizard token. Look at Charizard token. They didn't take the time to start talking to licensors and or anything like that. They just decided to create a token, make it so people can send them money and spread the word about this token and it boosted everything. It boosted everything for that token so whenever they have enough suckers um reeled in, they're going to run off. <clears throat> like these guys even went so far as to lock up their tokens so they couldn't even have access to it and because they're getting access to it, you got people selling. It's like did these guys do not deserve to get paid now? 
you actually think that they're going to tank this project. They did all this for the last two years just to tank the project. Like, could somebody actually do the math? Somebody do the math for me. Someone who has all the information, do the math for me and tell me how much money they stand to make if they dump the t if, if they were to dump it right now at its current levels. And then tell me how, like, if this project reaches $1 and they start to sell, then tell me how much they would stand to make. Like, I, I want like some some real comparisons, some some concrete comparisons of how stupid it would be for them to sell this right now, and how how it's really not making sense, how it's really not adding up. Um, they have done everything. That, like, look at their freaking white papers. You look at Charizard token; it has like nine pages for a white paper. Then you look at um, Ecomi, who has over what a hundred pages. It's like. Look at the difference between like their their white pages. They're like Ecomi's white pages and roadmap took longer to make than it took to make Charizard token and Safe Moon. Like it took long like it took longer to make their white papers than it took to make the entire projects for these actual ones that could be scams and that that's actually scams. Like I, I just don't understand. I don't understand people, man. But hey, I mean this is a great buying opportunity for us. Like as you can see, this is a great buying opportunity. I am really going to go and look into buying some more right now. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'm gonna catch you all on the next one, man. Peace out, Joe.